Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Today is a little different. This isn't a fountain pen review. It isn't about any specific fountain pen. And I'm not going to rant about anything or do any virtual pen shopping with you. And that's why I'm posting it out of my regular sequence. Today I'm going to do a little fountain pen designing with a view to influencing my favorite fountain pen company, PenBBS to create a model just for me. And if I like it, you might like it too. We might have a market of tens of people wanting my pen design, who knows? Stephen Brown has an ink, Doug could get a pen. I'm even going to speculate on the name of the pen. No, nothing boring like Pen BBS 493 or 501. I'm talking about Doug's Pen BBS ink pen or the Pen BBS Doug ink pen. How about Doug's ink pen or just the D ink pen? Did I miss something? When did we get to Disneyland? I know you're asking yourself what's gotten into that old man and his de-ink. Has he been sniffing too much KWZ vanilla ink again? Maybe. <laughs> Let's look into the fevered mind of a pen fan with too much time on his hands right now. <laughs> In last Saturday's video about the PenBBS 487, Alan Light and I discussed a lot of things that didn't make the cut and you never saw. Some were speculations on what we thought Long and PenBBS should be developing or changing. We discussed new nibs, like broads and stubs. We discussed the new PenBBS 100, which has a 14 karat gold nib and is in the style of the Hero 100 or the Parker 51 when we talked about this sword clip. I talked about my desire to see this pen, the 487, in a version which drops the magnet and the piston for a cartridge converter eyedropper pen that has the same outward shape but posts deeply and as comfortably as my 480. After the conference, I was playing with both of these pens, the 487 and the 480, and I switched the caps. And what do you know? They fit. Crisscross. Then I posted the caps on the opposite pens. Crisscross. Crisscross. The 487 cap posts better on the 480, of course, because it, it is tapered more. And that little bit of Frankenpenning. led me to the drawing board and I made some sketches and measurements. Of course, the Pen BBS 480 is one of my all-time favorite basic fountain pens. It has some refinements over the ubiquitous 308, which make the 480 a little bit more sleeker, a little bit better balanced, and more comfortable. And the best posting Pen BBS pen in their catalog. In my opinion. So I started sketching the 480 and making some measurements and looking at the pen posted and unposted. I looked at the 480 and the 497 side by side. Other than the flat top and the bottom finials and the cap band, they aren't much different. I mentioned in my 487 review that I thought Pen BDS should get rid of the flat top cartridge converter 352 and replace it with a non-magnetic cartridge converter version of the 487. I'd buy it. But what do you do with the 487 to make it a flat top version of the 480? Perhaps we'll call it the 483.5? Here are some suggestions for the Pen BBS gang, and Long in particular, from a guy who is as dumb as a box of hair, and as one of my viewers put it, has an IQ lower than room temperature. Oh, snap. Take it from where it comes. So I was making this Franken pen by swapping caps like this. So cool that their parts are interchangeable. And that had me wanting to do some design swapping between them as well. No, no. Oh God, Joe swapped bodies with Consuela. That must mean the Everyone whole town swapped, swapped bodies. bodies. Damn it, I was gonna say the whole town. Let's speculate, what if? 
What if first we removed the end plug and the magnetic piston, which I have done. Here's the piston. And we take that piston away and we take this end plug out. Just like that. And we take this end of the barrel here and we make it just completely acrylic. So we take that divot out of there and we make it a solid piece. And we put a stock converter, pen BBS converter, in that pen. And we put a little silicone ring on the end, just like this, just like the 480 has. We'd end up with a body that looks like this and weighs at least two grams less. In fact, I'll put up some measurements here in a moment. Next, instead of having this barrel taper, right now it tapers just about two millimeters over its length from here to here. What if we have it taper three millimeters over that length? That will allow, with some minor adjustments to the cap, a cap that posts at least as deeply and as smoothly as the 480. See how deep and smooth that pen posts. And I did some sketches of them posted as well. And you can see that posted, the 480 is 162 millimeters in length. But posted, the 487 currently is 171 millimeters in length. If we can get this pen down to this length, like that, so it has to post to here, like that. So we can get that pen to post like that. Now you've got something. Now let's look at the cap. We remove the magnet, which will lighten the whole pen significantly, but we keep the same basic shape and the heat stamped model imprint on the back. I really like that. I think what we'd end up with is a very attractive flat top version of the 480 that could replace the 352, which I find really boring. And the pen could be priced at the same price point as the 480, which is around $17.99 for the base finishes. I've adapted what I can on my 487 to make it as close as the projected version 483.5. I've taken out the metal end plug and the magnetic piston. I've added a pen BBS converter and the nib and section of the 487. Putting the 480 cap on top of all of this gives you an idea what the pen might weigh. And by putting the 487 cap on it, it gives you an idea of what it might look like. I don't have a 352 to compare this to, but what do you folks think? Have I lost my marbles or is this something that would attract you? Let me know in the comments what you think of my idea. Name suggestions would be welcome as well. I know Long names the pens based on their developmental numbers, but that doesn't stop users from creating names for them, does it? And if we fail, we can always stop at CVS and pick you out a nice toothbrush. <laughs> I call mine Gerard. <laughs> Kind of creepy. <laughs> my 492 is now my stinky rat. My new 323 Peacock is now known as Mrs. Peacock for reasons I will explain in my upcoming review of this pen. Now I'm going to show you a few measurements of what I've done taking all of the weight out of this pen, putting a cartridge converter in it, and the nib and section of the 480 in it. So you can see the differences in weight between these uh, two Franken pens. So there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get an instant notification the moment a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching, and that's all she wrote. I made this.